Prey 2022 movie review. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Josh here. Today, I want to do a little movie review on a movie called Prey from 2022. Now, very few people have actually heard about this movie. It is in the Predator realm, but it almost seems like it's not even advertised that way. I got to be honest, if I had the choice versus this super polished, almost like superhero type Predator or the classic vintage, more rough style Predator, I would totally choose this style. For most of the movie or even parts of the movie, the dangers of the wild are actually more dangerous than the Predators at times. And they've also got a few things that they run into that you really just don't expect that I felt like were outside the box kind of being a little bit of a surprise this movie also had some decent unique shots there were some long shots of the girl walking and just several shots I was like wow I like how they shot this it seems a little bit unique and I think it was well done the best parts of this movie is that it's pretty aggressive it has lots of twists and turns and it's got quite a bit of action a lot of violence and gore things like that so it's not just like a slow build and you see a few things it does have a lot of action throughout and also is pretty tame. Um, I do have a lot of little slight things that I didn't like about this movie, but overall I think it was really, really good. The one that I don't hear people talking about is that the Predator seems almost invincible up until the last points. I remember Predator being kind of like a superhuman, like he could probably take a little bit more damage than a human, but you're not just going to stab him a bunch of times in the arm and like his arm just works, you know what I mean? He's not like immortal he doesn't just heal himself up i mean all the way up until the end he's just pretty much immortal i mean you could stab him as many times as you want you could shoot him as many times as you want he just keeps coming he keeps coming and they even have one point where he's kind of healing up like he has this serum after he just got hit so many times but to me it doesn't make sense because even later on he just takes damage and damage and damage and damage it's hard for me to believe maybe the predators had like a healing aspect to them that i don't remember or they could take this amount of damage but i remember the predator being more smart he's stealth he's got really good weapons that are just going to take you out but if you happen to stab him a few times it's not like he could just take a hundred stabs and i feel like he kind of is that way up until the last scene i really like the idea of the classic predators here but to me it kind of makes no sense why he's using bows okay we have native americans so they have bows and arrows so the predator has bows and arrows too it's kind of a different mix-up it's something we haven't seen and it kind of makes it more of an even playing field but i'm just kind of confused Used, are predators evolving based on us you know what I mean so they see us using bows and arrows so they created their own bow and arrow but then why does he have like a heat sinker so he could create heat sinking bows but he can't figure out how to make a gun or things like that he's got like this super high-tech mass thing and then he also has the classic um, bomb thing that he could just throw down and it's pretty much it's not as crazy as the normal predator bomb but it seems pretty high-tech and pretty crazy and it just seems, I just don't see why he would be using bows when he has all his other technology. I was just a little bit confused with that. I was a little bit annoyed with the whole push of, because she's a girl, society's telling her that she can't do it. There's no way she could do something when in reality, she's like the best one there, the most aggressive one there, the smartest one there. And pretty much all the guys in the tribe besides her brother are just pretty much useless and are, are used to kind of feed the idea that they're all worthless boys. She's actually a smart girl she's better than all of them and once they get out there they just pretty much all die because they're dumb and she's smart it would have been nice if they teased that maybe once or twice but there's about 10 times in the movie where they just beat it over your head you know what I mean I just felt like it was a little bit unrealistic and you made the guy characters like much more modern and much more simple and less aggressive I'm pretty sure back in the day you know all these men were, would be savages if they go out and hunt and they seem just a little bit like boys this wasn't too much of an issue for me the biggest problem that I have with this movie is the questionable CGI and it's weird because when you look at it it's very hard to say what seems wrong and I watched another reviewer saying you know it's just the overuse of CGI and because you know you know in your head that it can't be real you just it's hard to buy into it I don't think it's that I think it's the quality of the CGI and I'm not talking badly on them I mean they had to do tons and tons and tons of CGI work but everything seemed way too perfect in this movie there's a point where a predator is fighting a bear ends up defeating the bear I just it's not too much of a spoiler but he ends up defeating the bear I have to describe that to say the story and I was wanted to show my friend this movie because I thought it was good he's a vegan he hates watching animals get killed on camera and I was like oh I 
forgot to like give you the warning. He laughs like, dude, it was the most CGI thing. Like, I wasn't even invested in it. I mean, I consider lots of CGI really top tier. When I watch the Avengers, it's almost like I've never seen superpowers like that, but I could almost believe that all that's going on. The CGI here was rough. Again, it's hard to pick out. It just seems a little too perfect. Like if you were to throw somebody at like 100 miles an hour, there's all this rebalancing and smashing they would do and all this stuff that would happen, right? But it almost seems like in this movie, if they go quick, it's like they're like a cartoon. They go bloop, 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 bloop. Everything is just too easy and too perfect. And they needed to do a little bit more of like the environment getting destroyed because of it. I think that's just my opinion, but the CGI just wasn't that good. That's the biggest problem with this movie. But overall, guys, I would give this an eight out of 10. I really, really did enjoy it, uh, mainly for the story and the aggressive nature and that they bring Predator back to those classic roots. But anyways, guys, I totally recommend Prey. I think it's on Hulu. Um, definitely check it out. Let me know what you think of this movie. I actually want to go rewatch Predators because I actually have never seen it. I've only seen the first Predator. I actually seen Predator 1 and Predator 2. Let me know what you think of this movie. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.